Hi everyone, the continuation of the tutorial. So first we installed some of these scripts like this one, that one, that one, that one, that one. Skip this one. And now we're off to the personal folder. So we're going to open this one. And this is really personal. So you just analyze what you want and don't want. But in order to have a quick up and running system that's uh, set up the way I want, of course, I install these kind of things. So 600, installing the personal settings folder is going to check if a folder exists. If it does not exist, I'm going to make it. It's going to check if a folder exists. If it does not exist, I'm going to make it. And it goes on like that. Why? Uh, because I want to copy paste my personal folders to it, of files. So now, you know, visually nothing happened, but a lot of directories have been created. And we're going to go on and say the next step is the personal settings bookmark. So every time I come to an, uh, a distro, I would like to have my same bookmarks. And a bookmark is what's on the side here. Let's show it. When I come here, I want to have my data folder, which is my Antarctos XFC4. InSync is not yet installed. My icons, my icons, my themes, my themes, and so on. So a lot of things are now just one click away. And that's how I want it. Okay. Okay. Then back to data personal so we ran this one and this one and then the keyboard shortcuts i like my keyboard shortcuts to be the same on any distro so ctrl alt t is for me the terminal okay um, let's copy paste those as well so this is quite personal do check it out before you do it and that's it so what did he do he's gonna copy paste in xfce everything is, everything is in here so the keyboard shortcuts are just an XML file and if we go to control find terminal you'll see I use primary alt T so control alt T to have my XFCE terminal okay <coughs> close tabs <coughs> sorry <coughs> okay let's move back so this is the keyboard shortcuts. Since, you know, I have this website, I need really to look out for not blowing it up, meaning a picture of a PNG is beautiful, I know. And you can zoom in, it's wonderful. But it's two megabit big. And when I make a screenshot in GPG, it's 200 kilobytes big. So I need really to be uh, posting all the images in GPG. So that's changed. The GNOME screenshot is now from PNG to GPG. That's that. Then wherever I go on GIMP, I have these effects, uh, shadow effects, making an arrow and all these things that I use for the tutorials. I have now just copy pasted all these scripts to the hidden folder. The same applies for Sublime Text. I have my preferences for Sublime Text. They have been copied to the folder. So like uh, you hear, it's not good that necessary. If you don't use it, don't do it. Variety is going to sh good, uh, good look, look good. Make, make your desktop change from wallpaper. So that's OK. Um, let's make this as well full screen. Forgot to do that, sorry. And then, um, next up, 630, so 635. Aha, uh -huh. so these are all the Arc themes we've made. So GitHub, um, our Git, the Arc GitHub from Horst3180 <coughs> supplies us with a template. And with the GitHub from me, Arc Colora, you can change the blue color to any color you want. So 60 million variations, but you have to run them. So these are the Colora themes I've made on Antercos. That's that. Let's 
it here four zero no we don't have it and here I'm ending meaning uh, 680 is Compton 685 is compass uh, these are uh, special kind of uh, things and uh, is maybe necessary to make that in another tutorial but um, the 690 might be interesting but I believe the 690 is all hashtags so I'm not copy pasting anything over so we don't need to run it 700 I need to run it but Firefox should be started first I don't know if I did it so I'm doing it now so there you go Firefox has created now a hidden folder and let's run it and check out the hidden folder voila he ran it and here you have here the config or is it not a config Control H we should go to the Mozilla straight away Firefox default it's this thing that should be created and this this thing here in front is always different but I can say put it to this folder put this folder inside uh, this specific folder anything with a default at the end so that's been created that's because of the dark themes I like and these dark teams they tend to screw up my input boxes so I can't read it so now that's fixed that concludes our personal installation why I do it and what it is and now we're gonna make our system more beautiful <laughs>